What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to boost your FPS and increase your overall performance when playing Cyberpunk 2077 on your PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions, then leave a comment and let me know. First, we will take a look at your in-game settings. Here, navigate to the Gameplay tab, and under Performance, set the Crowd Density to Low, and turn off Slow HDD Mode. In the Video tab, make sure to disable VSync and enable an FPS cap. You should cap your FPS at a higher value than your monitor's refresh rate, but below the maximum FPS you can get. In my case, I would set it to around 180 FPS. Below, set the window mode to full screen. I have set it to windowed as it's easier to record. Set the resolution to your native monitor resolution. In case you're using an abnormal screen resolution, then set it to 1920x1080 to save some resources. For low-end systems, incapable of running the game with these settings, then you should consider lowering the resolution even more, to around 1600x900. This will in any case improve your performance, but the visual quality will suffer a lot. Lastly, disable HDR mode. Don't forget to apply your changes. Next. Navigate to the Graphics tab. In the Basic section, you can increase the FOV if you want to. This can slightly reduce performance if your CPU is a bottleneck to your performance. Disable Film Grain, Chromatic Aberration and Depth of Field. I prefer to enable Lens Flare and to disable Motion Blur, but these two options will come down to personal preference. In the Advanced section, some of these settings can improve your performance by a lot but the visual quality will suffer too. Disable Contact Shadows. You can leave the Facial Lighting Geometry option on, as it shouldn't use up too much resources. Set the Anisotropy option to 1, Local Shadow Mesh Quality to low, turn off Local Shadows, set the Cascaded Shadows Range to medium, Cascaded Shadows Resolution to low, Volumetric Fog Resolution to low, Volumetric Cloud Quality to low, Max Dynamic Decals to low, Screen Space Reflections quality to low, as well as the subsurface scattering quality. Disable Ambient Occlusion and set the LOD option to medium. Below, unless you're using a high-end GPU, you will have to disable the ray tracing options. Set the DLSS Resolution Scaling option to auto and disable the settings below. Don't forget to apply your changes. When this is done, leave the game running and open up your task manager. Here, in the Processes tab, right-click Cyberpunk 2077 and select to go to Details. In the Details tab, the Cyberpunk 2077.exe application should be highlighted. Simply right-click it and set the priority to High. This will in turn allocate more resources to playing the game and should increase your performance, especially if you have other programs running in the background. In order to reduce the CPU utilization from other programs, I suggest you to end some programs from running in the background, which you don't need when playing the game. But make sure to only add programs from running, which you know won't break your operating system. In the Startup tab, you can additionally prevent programs from starting up on System Boot. You can now close the game and exit out of your Task Manager. When this is done, Search for Game Bar to open up the Game Bar system settings. Here, uncheck the Recording option, and in the Captures tab, make sure to additionally disable the Background Recording option. These settings will only reduce your performance. If you want to record your gameplay, then I suggest using OBS Studio or an external capture card if you lack performance. When this is done, make sure that your graphics driver is up to date. I suggest using the GeForce Experience application, if you're using an NVIDIA GPU, but you can also use the AMD driver suit. Depending on how frequently you're updating your GPU, this tweak can make the biggest difference. In the Drivers tab, simply click on Download, and the application will automatically download and install the latest driver. In the Home tab, select Details for Cyberpunk. Here, click on this wrench icon, which will allow you to reduce your in-game settings for more performance. You can also change the display resolution and display mode from here if you want to. 
When this is done, search for Update to open up your Check for Updates System Settings window. Here, click on Check for Updates and after downloading the latest OS update, make sure to restart your PC. When this is done, right click your desktop and select NVIDIA Control Panel. You can do the same step with the AMD driver suit. Here, navigate to Manage 3D Settings and then Program Settings. Select to add a program to customize and then add Cyberpunk 2077 from the program list. Below, we will change a few settings. Make sure that the CUDA setting is set to your main GPU. Set the power management mode to prefer maximum performance and set the texture filtering quality to performance. When this is done, search for graphic settings and open up your graphic system settings. On this window, select browse and your file explorer will open up. From here, navigate to the drive on which you saved the game on. Program files, Steam, Steam apps, Common, Cyberpunk 2077, Bin and lastly X64. Make sure to select the Cyberpunk 2077 application and then add it to the program list. Once it's added, you can change the options of the application so that the graphics preference is set to high performance. Next, I suggest deleting your temporary files, as these can induce lag if your hard drive is cluttered. Search for percentage temp percentage and hit enter. This folder contains all of your temporary files, saved by your programs and should be deleted. You can safely delete everything in this folder. Some files might remain, so just leave them there. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.